What's up, my friends? Welcome back to our blind Let's Play of The Witcher. Here we are with Geralt, and we're still in the field. We're going to head over to um, Murky Water side here, and we're going to do the quest. The Heat of the Day. Quite a fitting name for that damn quest, considering she turned into a damn noon wraith. But as I was going to go to the other side to turn in... Actually, hold on. What I was trying to do first was the Temptation one. And that's in the same area. But as I was trying to go over there, a cutscene triggered with Adam. So I kind of just load it back here so we can get it on camera and everything. I don't really know what it said, but let's just, without further ado, let's just go into it and, and see what the hell happens. Yes? Sheathe your dagger. She killed my Elena? I'll never see her again. Selina killed her sister? She confessed. They argued, and Selina pushed Alina. My beloved hit her head on a stone. It's too terrible. An accident. Selina told me, and I couldn't control myself. Selina envied Alina, was jealous of Julian and his wealth. She must be punished. Alina is not dead. She turned into a noon wraith. A oh, terrible! I must help her! Try not to do anything stupid. Yeah. You already killed a damn sister. I must tell Julian that Elena was killed by her sister who is now dead as well. Yes? Adam, you look dreadful. How am I to look? My beloved is terrifying people. I killed a woman and I'm a failure. Sorry. See ya, pal. Go to the fields, and uh, I don't know. Go find your beloved. Hopefully she eats your face off, considering what she did to her damn sister. You know, it may have very well been an accident. Selena killing, uh, Alina. Pushed her, and probably didn't mean to kill her. But what gives him the right to go kill the other woman? You know? Doesn't that not make you feel a little bit uneasy? Maybe we should do something about that. I don't know if we can can even do something about it. it. It doesn't really even... It didn't really even give us an option to kill him or whatnot. Though I could only imagine her dad is probably going to be a little bit pissed. And lost both his daughters? Oh man, that's terrible. Freaking terrible news. What's up, girl? Calm down. A cust yeah, yeah, come on. Let's go ahead and sell him this. So, the what's face, the hermit gave us these pouches of salt. A wraith repelling talisman. So, we have a wraith repelling talisman and a drowner one now. Which is going to come in handy, I would say. At least not here, though. We're not seeing too much drowners or race here at all. What's up, girl? Master Witcher. Actually, let's, let me rephrase that. We're not seeing many drowners here because we just seen a shit ton of race last episode and killed a shit ton. I have the glimmering dust. Finally! I'll make my husband an amulet to repel the succubus. The herb manual as agreed. Farewell. Thank I'm you. Feeling under the weather. Feeling under the weather. I think that was the best choice to give her the uh, the amulet. Elder blood is that what she gave us? Plants on barren lands. We already read this, but okay, that's fine. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, I guess since we're here, well, we got to go back to Julian anyway. We'll sell him the books. Can he buy books, or does a blacksmith buy the books? I'm pretty sure Julian buys the books. Well, seriously, now that that is done... Selina killed her sister out of jealousy, and Adam slew Selina when he learned of his beloved's death. I must take the sad news to Julian. Poor Julian, what about the dad? Should we go tell the dad? Hey, your daughter's dead! Both of them. Let's go see. Excuse me, pal. Your daughters are dead. Beastie Beta? Ah, uh, I have.
have some bad news for you. Speak. Alina and Selina are dead. Selina accidentally killed Alina. Adam was then blinded by rage and slew Selina. My beloved daughters, leave me. I wish to be alone. Sorry, man. And that's terrible news, but it's better to know at least. Wouldn't you say, friends? All right, let's get over to freaking Julian and let him know. Thank you, pal. Take it easy, buddy. Let him know about what's going on. Situation here got pretty crazy, friends. I kind of didn't... Ex I mean, like, I knew something was going to happen because this is the Witcher. Not anything, like... Nothing is ever, like, easy in this game. Everything's always so... gray. Dark. Does that even... Does it even make sense? Like, you would think that you uh, uh, more Saiyan would make more sense if, like, black and white. But this game does not have the white areas at all. It's, like, dark and gray. It doesn't get to, like, the good areas. So, I don't know. Dark and gray. Let's just call this game. Simmer down. But I guess that's what gives this game charm, friends. Julian, I found your wives. They're dead as hell. May I help? I have questions. Ask, traveler. What's special about this settlement? Murky waters. We live in seclusion. Tobias Hoffman leads us. Know, too, that our ancestors once inhabited the underwater city. Tell me about Tobias. He lives in the village but prepares for a wedding, so likely has no time. I'll talk to him anyway. If he's occupied, try speaking with his future son-in-law, Julian. Thanks for the advice. May I help you? I have questions. Ask, Travis. What's special about this settlement? Murky waters. The underwater city? Lake waters engulfed the underwater city. Some say the gods were angered by debauchery. Now the Vodianoi inhabit the city. Did I sense pride? We glory in our ancient heritage, just as we take pride in our prize-winning cow. As for our ancestors' bad habits, much has changed since then. Prize-winning cow. She's in the corral between the houses. Our pride and joy. She's made Murky Waters famous. Thanks for the story. May I help you? Doodles. Well. well, thanks for the story there. Let's tell the Julian. Geralt? I have a bunch to tell you, man. But... Let me go ahead and sell some shit to you first. Goodbye. See you later. Have a good one, pal. Okay, I'm selling this scarf. What is this ring here? The guard signet ring? Let's keep that. We can put it in our chest if we need to. Geralt? I think we should tell him about Alina's situation first, and we'll do this last. So we don't have to break that one up. I was supposed to find Alina. Have you? Yes. That's wonderful. Is she all right? Sit down and have a drink. Alina is dead. She has turned into a noon wraith, a demon. Dead? I know it's hard, but we can't leave this as it is. People will start dying in the fields if I don't do anything about this. I see. Do what you can. I'll pay you. It'll be more than a silver penny. Do what needs to be done, Witcher. And if you can, make it quick and painless. I'll try. You know, I believe in reason, not in gods. Yet I prayed to Melitelli that Alina and I would meet again. I had a bad feeling. I repulsed it. I think I need time to accept the thought that my Alina is dead. Geralt, how did it happen? Selina killed her, probably by accident. She's dead too. How? Um, I'm gonna tell him. 
I think he deserves to know what's going on here. We could say that we could lie and cover it up. But I don't really care for that Adam person. Or not Adam. Yeah, Adam. I don't really give a crap about Adam. He's a bloody murderer. Literally. So let's just... Let's just spill the beans, huh? Adam killed her. He was in love with Alina, lost control of himself, and killed Selina. By all the gods, that's terrible. So much suffering. What did they do to deserve this fate? Geralt, please help them, and I'll make sure Adam is arrested. He must answer for his crime. Mm hmm I'll do what I can to help the sister's souls pass on. I must find a way to free Alina's ghost. I should speak to someone who has knowledge of curses. Hmm. I'm well, definitely not Dandelion. Probably Stand Abigail. Still. I must find a way to free Alina's ghost. I should speak to someone who has knowledge of curses. Let's talk to Abigail first. And then we probably got the Lady of the Lake and the Hermit. That we could probably... Ask. Yes? Poor guy, man. We shall speak later. At least he... I don't know, he took it like a man. Literally. What a good sort that Adam is. Or... Julian is. That's unfortunate about his love, though. That's... Pretty cool story, man. I like him. He's about the best character of this act so far, I guess. Interesting one. Nice guy. Abigail, I need your help, pal. What do you want? I need your help on a matter of a spiritual nature. You can trust me. I don't know how to send Alina's spirit into the beyond. That conceited wench? She came to possess a rare and powerful Nehelenia's mirror, which once served oracles and prophets. Alina consulted her mirror quite frequently. With the question, who's the fairest of them all? I know Nehelenia's mirrors come in two varieties, polite and broken. Alina's mirror was clearly broken. If you reassemble it and show Alina, the curse may be lifted. Thanks, Abigail. I must find the shards of Alina's mirror in the field. Alright then. Well, let's hope we can find the, um... The shards of this mirror. That mirror is, sounds interesting, like... She said they come in two varieties, some broken. Does that mean... No, it couldn't just turn her into a... The Noon Wraith, right? She had to be killed. Well, I mean, obviously she was killed, but... What does this have to do with the, the damn mirror? Does that make sense? I wonder what this mirror... Significance this mirror plays. It's crazy that we can even burn these. See ya. Give me that. You don't need it. Where the hell is this damn thing at? What am I missing here? Oh, shit. I'm looking for the tree. Alina's mirror. Campfire. Alina's mirror. Alina's mirror. Hold on here. I'm like w running around in circles. Like, wh why is it not sending me to the tree? What the hell are we looking for over here? Oh, this is cool. Midday bride. Is that her? Holy shit, it is her. Yep. Excuse me. Let me go ahead and get my uh, silver sword out. Good written. What's up, Alvin? Did you see that shit? Shard of Alina's mirror. Shard of Alina's mirror. A small fragment of a broken mirror. Let's go find more of them. Alvin, you got anything going on? Yes. Be good. Be good. <laughs> Geralt's voice is funny in this chapter because some of it changes. It's so weird. Deep voice Geralt. James Earl Jones Geralt over here. 
This is a campfire, though. Oh, there's Elena's mirror over there. Alrighty, I'm going. The only thing so far, this act is really pretty good, man. I like it a lot. It's very interesting. The only thing that has not been to my liking fully is the whole running back and forth a lot. But I understand it's an open world game and it's no fast travel, obviously. It's, it's the real deal, you know? Most games were, uh, if not all games, were like this back in the day. And I can dig it. But, uh, it does get a little bit time consuming. And that's why I've been trying to cut it out for you guys, not having to, so I can make the episodes a little bit more impactful than just running around. Because we all know it's going to take about 100 episodes to probably beat this game. See ya. Goodbye. Have a good one. Is there a thing here? Well, let's go ahead and level up while we're here. I don't really want to meditate too long. So we got one gold talent. Um, I want to put that in intelligence. Sign intensity. Now we got two silvers. Hold on. Let's just completely... Art is completely maxed out. Let's go to group steel. That. Precise hit, sure. And we gotta look for some bronze talents. I don't think we have any more anywheres. What do we do with these bronze talents? Just sit there? I guess we just let them fester. Because there is no... Wait. Attack from a distance? Cool. How did I not have that ability? That was like the first ability. So it was like a fireball? Holy moly! Alright, let's find the rest of these mirrors here. We got one over here by the Droids Grove. Interesting quest because we could have honestly did this quest, right? And it would have taken us to the places, taken us to the places and a lot less uh, running around as we did. And we could have stumbled upon these side quests as it is. I don't usually like to break stuff up. Traditional RPG player myself. Where I just kind of want to do the quest that we get. I don't really like breaking quests up. I mean, who does? Excuse me. Booyah! Fireball, baby! I didn't do nothing. Ooh, freaky. Jeez. Another one of her mirrors. I'm gonna kill this wyvern. See if I can throw a damn fireball at him. Oh. Actually, I'm just gonna run away. Let's go find the other mirror. I was just trying to see the uh, fireball in all its glory. Place of power? I already got that one earlier. Midday bride, baby. Come here. Shall we dance? Chilling by the hermit's hut. Hermit's over there, I don't even care. So yeah, so just did that from the beginning. I'm dancing with her friends. Was that all of them? We have one more over here. 
See ya, Hermit. Damn, Geralt is rolling. Holy. Look how fast he's running. There's the raspberry tree. I would imagine we probably have to go there afterwards. Excuse me, ma'am. Got an art with your name on it. Art is just too good, friends. What is the point? Friends, no point at all. Geralt! I asked you to hide if it turned dangerous. I hear voices from all those women who live here. They're dead, Alvin. So many fear me. When they think I can't hear, they call me the devil's child. Those people, they're just afraid of what they don't understand. I want them to like me. I don't want them to die. What should I do? Hmm. I like number two, actually. Your visions are a gift, not a curse. It's up to you to use them for good. I feel like that's the best way to tell Alvin this. How to use his powers. Destiny isn't everything. Like, I don't want to turn the boy resentful. I want him to stay on the path of good. Like, I feel this is pretty cool because it seems like we're molding Alvin here. Into our vision, kind of. What we see of the, the boy. And I like that. Your visions are a gift, not a curse. It's up to you to use them for good. I'll remember that. Alvin will remember that, friends. Cool. I told Alvin his powers are a gift. I mean, they are a gift. It's exactly what I would tell Siri in this situation. That's a murky waters. So what do we do now? I told Alvin his powers are a gift. It seems the boy needs some guidance. I'll look after him for the time being. He follows me around everywhere. I must find a craftsman who can reassemble re the mirror. All right, let's go to the blacksmith, shall we? Excuse me, sir. Yes? Can you reassemble a shattered mirror? For 100 Arons. Well, I guess it's better than... Thought it was going to be free. But 100 Arons ain't bad. We got so much money, friends, it don't even matter. Deal. Take the pieces. I'll pay you when you're done. I'm tired. I haven't really found any use for... The, um... The money in this game. We, like, completely... Don't need money. At least right now. I mean, we need money for books, but I said come back to him later. But come on, man. Yes. Is my mirror ready? Like new. Now, one hundred orange. Here. Maybe I should move. I must find the noon ray. See if the legends about the mirror are true. All right, back to uh, the hangman's tree, perhaps. Interesting friends on the way back over here. There was an old peasant guy It's minor dialogue, but I clicked on him because he said oh, how could you do that to me? So I clicked on him and he said huh that amulet you gave Alvin He thinks it's a real witcher's amulet ha, 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 and started laughing and that was I thought that was pretty cool Hey Alvin's trying to be like us. We're setting a good example here At least it would seem Let's see if we can talk to old Elena Excuse me. Follow the noon wraith. Come with me. Alina, gaze in the mirror. Alina? Take a good look. It's, it's... So romantic. I am Alina. I must hurry. I am to marry soon. Alina, you're dead. Why do you say so? I feel wonderful. If a trifle cold. Strange. It's hot as hell. I must gather raspberries for my beloved. 
Why did Alina's soul refuse to leave? I can sense her happiness now that she's thinking about her wedding. She doesn't know she's a ghost. Hmm. Maybe Nahelenia's mirror is not enough to break the curse. I heard a story of a noon wraith who wouldn't wed a nilf guardian, but I don't remember how it ended. A legend, you say? Maybe I should ask those who know folk wisdom. I promised Julian I'd free his beloved. Geralt, do you love someone? Well, I could say we love Siri and Yennefer, but he doesn't remember. I feel like he would say he doesn't know. Because he feels like he probably has that love feeling in the back of his mind that he can't it can't come out. Like it's not that he doesn't that he's not falling for Triss or anything, because it does seem like he is falling for Triss, doesn't it? But I don't know. I would say I don't know. Me. I don't know. That's sad. He should fall in love. Sure, Alvin. I must consider looking for a way to put Elena's ghost to rest. So he said look for somebody who knows folk wisdom? Gave the mirror to new race, she stopped attacking me and scenes to remember who she used to be. It wasn't enough to put her to rest, though. I need to investigate further. Aren't there any shortcuts to this folktale? No. I must gather raspberries. Um, let's see. We can head back to the hermit folktale. What about Dandelion? Wouldn't he know folk tales because he's a poet and stuff? Let's go to Dandy. Yeah, we'll go to Dandy first. See, I'm thinking when it comes to folk tales, like that means ballads and such, right? Has to. Folk tales, not like necessarily ballads, but folk tales is like legends and such. We can try Dandy, and then I'm gonna try the uh, Lady of the Lake. Because I feel like I need to turn the Berengar thing into her too, anyways. And then we'll try the Hermit, because the Hermit's right over there with her. I guess I should've tried the Hermit first. No bring trouble. But let's try Dandy. Because... Folk tales and legends and stuff seem to be something that he would know, right? You fight like a lass. Gerald? How do I get the letter off? Best see the fisherman. He'll take it to Vizima. I'm pretty sure I already did that. See, right here, he's got something. Maybe all of them have something. Dandelion, I need to figure out how to help Alina's ghost pass on. By some stroke of chance, Alina acquired a Nehalenya's mirror, a rare and powerful device used by prophets and oracles. It could foretell the future accurately, though sometimes confusingly. Alina consulted her mirror often. The mirror didn't help. Alina is still floating around the fields. Maybe it lost its power. No, Alina knows who she is, but she refuses to accept her death. How can I persuade her? What if she could see her sister? One problem. As a night wraith, Selina only appears after dark. Selina. That stormy hair we all know. A hand raised to her lips. It's Alina. Alina, her fingertips... Something's not right there. Selina sounds better. Never mind, concentrate. You can compose a ballad later. Sometimes at night, Adam listens close. Tis Selina's, Selina's, Selina's ghost. Lovely, wouldn't you say? Yeah, lovely. I was thinking, people say art and magic are kin, right? So why don't we try poetry to keep Alina around until her sister arrives at dusk? I need you to write a poem. So, what should I write about? Death, Dandelion. Alina is dead, and her spirit roams the fields in daytime. Somehow we have to get her to understand that she's no longer among the living. Hmm, not your everyday commission, but I'm a professional. Any instructions? Don't provoke her, and no jokes. She's dangerous. I'll need time. You have until sunset. Meet in the fields before dusk. 
Meeting the fields before dust. Oh, this is cool, man. Dandelion's gonna sing her home. Meet Dandelion to Eve in a Raspberry Patch. 4.30, let's go ahead, or 4.30, 2.30, let's go ahead and sleep. This is cool, friends. One thing. Yes? I'd like, sure. So before dusk, that means... We'll meditate to that time. Nah, they're really here, pal. So Dandelion is gone. Alright, I'm gonna head over to the, uh... Raspberry Patch. <laughs> Look, Dandy and his midday bride up there chilling together. I'm not late, Dandelion. Don't worry, pal. Gerald? How's the poem? Could we do this tomorrow? Too late. You'll have to improvise. Master Dandelion, you're to play at my wedding. My lady, Geralt and I have devised a short poem for two voices. Care to listen? Uh, what? Proceed. His lips sealed, his eyes blank, his breast stone cold, his heart has ceased. Still in this world, yet no longer apart, who is this man? Oh, shit. A corpse? Hold on. Damn it, I wish I can go back and read the subtitles. He said... Heart still has ceased. And it has to be the disease. Deceased. The deceased? I can't say the damn word. But that rhymes with what he said, I believe, yeah? The deceased. New life comes as hope springs true. His soul shines by memory embraced. The dead returns to the land of his youth to seek his beloved's face. His breast heaves, yet cold it remains. His lips move, his eyes engrossed. Return to the world, but detained by death. Who is this man? A ghost? A ghost. Stop! 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 Selena killed me. My soul shall know no peace until I am avenged. Holy moly, they're about to get it on. Look at her creepily walking up. Holy shit, I'm out of here. Screw this. You're on your own, Dandy. Alina, it's me. Selena. As you can see, you have been avenged. Selena, don't blame yourself. I know you never intended to kill me. I'm filled with regret. Tis justice. I am damned to wander the fields at night till the end of time. Perhaps. But if we were able to lift one curse, I see no reason why we shouldn't. Will you help, Witcher? I'll try. Why did I save Abigail? Were her honor or virtue threatened? No. Because the law was being broken? No. Did I choose the lesser evil? No. The Reverend and his flock made a choice. I'm a Witcher. I neither judge nor punish. I solve human problems. Not always using a sword. <laughs> Did we do it? The sun rocks the earth. Great. Quest complete. I should see Julian. You're a dangerous monster, as you were in life. Ah, she might have been a bit of a lush, I guess. But let's let's not let's not tempt her. She might eat her freaking face off. Look at her. Oh my god. I'd like to help. So one exists who is not indifferent to my fate. What is this? A wreath of immortals? Crown me, white-haired one. Free me. Go in peace, Selina. You have suffered enough. Wait. Look at her butt cheeks hanging out, friends. <laughs> Hell yeah, baby, they're lopsided cheeks. 
Um, we gave her the Wreath of Immortals. Good thing we got that. We could have never been able to free her if we didn't get that. Holy shit. This game is too much, man. It's pretty deep. I love it. I'm telling you, friends. Gerald? Dandelion. Care to explain why? Well done, Gerald. I would have warned you, but I had to rely on a sudden inspiration. Spare me your inspirations in the future. Stop sulking. It worked, didn't it? Gave me an idea. I'll develop that theme into an epic work about folk customs. Good job, Dandy. Well, let's complete this quest and head back to uh, Julian. But wow, friends, what a great freaking quest. I did not expect Dandelion to be singing to some ladies, for one, and just, it was just awesome, man. Like, it was completely different from investigating things in Vizima about Salamander. It felt like a true Witcher's quest because we're hunting for ways to send Alina into the beyond or whatever it is in this game. And like the whole tragedy of her sister killing her and then Adam killing her sister. It just felt like a Witcher's quest. If that makes sense. I mean, I'm sure it makes sense because it's the Witcher, but that, that was really freaking cool, man. I liked it. That was probably my favorite quest so far in the game. Besides the whole running back and forth, which is okay. But still, that was a really fucking cool one. Digged it. it. It's like as dark. It felt as dark as the uh, the beast situation in the outskirts, and I like it. I can't wait to get into more of the uh, Witcher part of the Witcher. If that makes sense. Like I, ho I, I do like the whole investigation thing. It's so intriguing. I like the whole looking for secrets, mysteries. That stuff gets me in games all the time. I love it. But the Witcher part of this game, the quests that are tailored to really make you feel like a Witcher, feels amazing. You fight like love a it. Geralt? I did what I could for Alina. How did it happen? Alina's soul found peace. And Selina? Selina's soul rests in peace. Thank you, Geralt. I know Alina would have wanted Selina to be at rest too. Um... What just happened to his voice? Did that really happen? What the hell was that, friends? I'm so freaked out right now. Oh my god. What the hell just happened? Now, I don't know if I have a mod in the game for Selena. I remember there being a bug fix that I downloaded that was recommended. And I didn't read into what the mod was. And it may have been that. I'm pretty sure there was two that I ended up doing. The Lavardin. Something with the Lavardin and the badges. And then... I believe there was a Selena fix as well. Or a Lena fix. I can vaguely remember. I'll have to look into this stuff. But that was like the only mods that I remember putting into the game fully. Well, besides like the little updated graphics thing. But you guys told me that the whole Levarden thing is not even a thing in the base game anyway. You're not able to ever sell him the mod, so that's kind of like a cheat. I didn't know that. I, I like, just took recommendations of um, close friends that did play this game without spoilers, without reading the spoilers when I was downloading the mods, which is very hard to do. Especially if you want to... Especially if you're playing like an old game and you want to at least update it a little bit and make it a little bit more easier for you without spoiling stuff. So it's always kind of hard to look, but I guess that's what it was. Either that or he just got possessed by something. Who knows? <laughs> Anyways, let's look at the journal when we come back. Um, I want to head over to the Lady of the Lake. Since we're here, we'll have to talk to Julian. And then we'll head over and talk to the Vulginal guy. But I think before we talk to the Vulginal guy, I want to jump over and talk to the lady first. Because I want to turn in some stuff to her about destiny and all that good stuff. Anyways, friends, take it easy. Have a good one. Until next time. And Julian's voice. Julian's freaking creepy demonic voice. Take care. Have a good one.